Washington. North Korea pushed President Donald Trump closer to a set of excruciating choices with its most potent missile test yet, which shattered a two-month calm in Northeast Asia and set nerves in Washington back on itch. Trump, who earlier this year warned he would rain fire and fury on the isolated state if it continued to threaten the, the United States or its allies, was relatively muted in responding to Kim Jong-un's latest provocation. I will only tell you that we will take care of it. It is a situation that we will handle, Trump told reporters at the White House. He later attempted to tie the launch to domestic politics, using it to pressure Democrats to move ahead on government spending proposals. After North Korea missile launch, it's more important than ever to fund our government and military. Dems shouldn't hold troop funding hostage for amnesty and illegal immigration. I ran on stopping illegal immigration and won big. They can't now threaten a shutdown to get their demands, he tweeted. His quiet resolve may have been calculated to avoid further provoking Kim, or to deprive him of the full propaganda value of his latest move if so, this would represent an evolution in the president's public rhetoric on the crisis. But Trump's vague and unspecific response also reflected the paucity of options he has to deal with North Korea, and how the most serious foreign policy threat facing his presidency is becoming ever more grave. It's clear that Tuesday's launch of an intercontinental missile that blasted off from Sein Ni in North Korea and, according to Defense Secretary James Mattis, went higher than any previous shot they've taken represents a serious escalation of the crisis. To begin with, the test flight demonstrated Pyongyang's theoretical ability to hit targets as far away as Washington. As such, it brings